Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and to break down this uh, classic Hendrix solo for you right now. Thank you again for supporting Marty Music. Also, uh, I've got a free licks course for you. The first comment, you can go right to it. Totally free. Uh, but in the meantime, let's break this one down. Here we go. All right, so it starts with little hits right here on the F, right for the F chord that's happening in the progression. So it's just the 13th fret on the B and high E. Then I hold this little piece together. And so you're planting your middle finger on the 13 of the B and index on the 12 of the G. That's the little double stop cluster there. You hit those. Then ring finger comes down to the 14th of the G, then back off. And this is going to happen in other parts, so we're going to want to get used to this uh, little device right here. So my pinky's grabbing that 15 of the D right there. So these are planted. And I grab that note, and then back to that. So it's almost like a little scale. And so we're still thinking of F, and this is where I'm talking about the device. This is there. You know, it's all this little Hendrix zone, right? So. So then we have to hammer on pull off there. A boo doo 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 doo. So hammer on pull off and grabbing that pinky again on the 15. And there's going to be a little box here between the 15 and the 17 that we're going to go up to. So 15, 17. 1517, the D and the A string. It's the F major pentatonic. It may be a spot you don't recognize as much. You know, that F chord. So, boo da da do do. So after I've done that, I'm going to grab my ring finger into that box I was just talking about. Sliding from 15 to 17 on that A string. So boo da 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 pow. So I guess uh, I'd say you're going to want to probably use your ring finger, but I did my pinky when I was just more playing it. because I'm grabbing that with my pinky, so I'm kind of like, I come over, but I definitely transition into my index ring finger once, I'm, once I've moved into there, then I switch to my two most comfortable fingers. Boo -doo 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 -doo. So we're sliding into this little thing. And you kind of hear it come off there. And so that's the D string, 15 and 17. Now we're going to just play with that 
motif a bit. So it comes back again to the same thing. So it does that the same, but then goes right into that little box, major F major pentatonic box. So boot, this is the second one now. Boo do 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 do. Same thing there. 15, 17, 15. Like that. Check it out. So it's in that, still in that box. So we did that. We're going to grab that 17 of A and then a hammer on the D up to 17. And then hop over and do a hammer on from 15 to 17 on the A. That's the lick. But here's the first one. Second one. Now let's go to the third one. So they're all variations of the same thing. This third one starts the same as the one before it. Slide even from 15. 15 to 17 on the D and then immediately hopping over to the A string, hammer on to 17. So that's the third one. So real slow, all of it. You know, from the... Now in the progression, it goes to a G chord now. And so here's the G zone. That sounded weird maybe. <laughs> the G spot right here. So if you just looked across that 15th fret, you have middle finger on 15 of the B, index on 14 of the G, but we're in the G zone now of everything we were just doing, but for F, we're doing it right here. Now for G, it's up here. So when it goes to, we do this. And so I'm covering the 15 of the B in high E. I hammer on the 17 of the B while hitting both those like this. See that? You hear that high E? So it's not blocking it. I'm hearing the B and the high E. And we're going to need that a little later, too. So on the G, G. It's all that same little thing. So let's see here. Uh...
15, 14, starts with this. Then you got to get to that. Just like the other thing, Pinky's going to grab that 17 of the D right there, and then back to that double stop. And you can do a bump hammer. Now the rhythm goes to B flat. So we're going to grab this little triad. So it's like an F shape. It's the um, 8th fret, 7th fret, 6th fret. Hammer on the 8th fret on the B string with my pinky. Very little wing right there, a little little wing move. Um, and he's going for a little little wing move right there. Look at that. Um, it's the pinky now on the G string on the eighth fret. So you've got the G. Now it's a D flat, and he goes straight for a red house kind of move. Kind of fun, yeah. Uh, you know, there's a little little wing right here. Right into a uh, red house. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's cool. I've never. Uh, it's fun to fit, you know. I just had that epiphany right now. Uh, so we're now in the D flat minor pentatonic. And if you've made it this far, thanks for listening to that part. <laughs> so we're gonna bend the 12th fret of the B string up a whole step. And then it comes back down to 12 and then we hit uh, that nine of the B. So then we go to this G on the 11, and on that 9 of the B, 9 of the high E, you know, minor pentatonic stuff. But as soon as you hit that high E, you go back to the 11 of the G and bend it up a whole step and release to the 9, like classic Hendrix. Then it's just F F F F F F F F F F F F F F into the verse. So it's the rest now is all pretty F, and it starts in that same Hendrix zone that we started the solo with, but the G lick that we just learned. So you're covering the twelve, uh, sorry, the thirteen of the B and high E, hammering the fifteen just of the B, but with the high E in there. And then we just go into that little shape there with the middle on the 13 of the B, index on 12 of the G, once again with this move. And Hendrix would most likely be grabbing those roots with his thumb. Maybe even that one. I don't know if he would. Anyway, superhuman thumbs. So
That's the lick. Ba da, da be da bu da be da. Same techniques that we have already been doing. Really, nothing new. Then we're going to go into the "Don't Let Me Down" lick, which comes from the Hendrix major inversion chord. So I'm barring now the tenth fret. Really, it's just the D across. But if you're covering the A, it doesn't hurt because you're gonna you're gonna need it on the last like movement. That's so whatever, whatever works for you. I think I'm kind of scooting it over at the end. Like that, so we're hammering. We're you know we're playing this little cluster right here, and we're hammering from 10 to 12 on the D string, and then I'm getting that, emphasizing that G string, and then back with the D string. Then it comes off, and that bar is still there. I'm grabbing the. 13 of the A string with my pinky. And the last move, I'm hammering to that classic Hendrix chord right there. So let's see here, uh, G. B flat. flat blues lick, F pretty, don't let me down, and that's the solo, so let's see, from the top, I'll do it uh, slow here, let's see, not the right key. Don't let me down. Uh, sorry. Okay. Here we go with the uh, with the backing track. Thank you again so much for uh, supporting Marty Music. You can check out that first comment for that free licks course. Uh, thank you again. Hope to see you real soon. Uh.